Hey, what's up everybody? Lee Taft here. Welcome to Speed Tips from my garage in the classroom. Yep, you see it right. Behind me there's a speed ladder and an agility ladder. I know there's probably a million coaches out there right now panicking saying that thing doesn't work. It's dumb. You can't use it. Well, that just means you don't know how to use it. That's all that means. So what we're going to do today is we're going to teach you the real icky shuffle. Okay, that's the focus today, the real icky shuffle, how you should be applying it to help your athletes understand cutting. Now, keep in mind, you do not need the speed ladder. You don't have, you can do this drill without it. So if you have 100 kids, unless you have, I don't know, maybe 20 ladders or, you know, close to that, you probably don't want to have, it, you know, 100 kids using like three ladders. It's just not going to work, okay? But what I am going to show you is how you should be applying force application in the, at the proper force application angle to make cutting more effective. The ladder provides you a very controlled atmosphere where the athletes can get multiple reps and then you take it away and then it becomes very reactive. Okay, so let me show you what the real, let me show you what the typical icky shuffle looks like and then I'm going to show you the real icky shuffle. Typically, what happens is when they do the icky shuffle, the athlete stays pretty high and they start it in and they, they tap really quick, okay? And when they do it, they're usually high on the ball of the foot, okay? So as they go through and they're doing the pattern, they're pretty high. But what we want to do is make sure we're loaded because if I cut, I want to make sure my ankle is loaded so that I protect it. So the real icky shuffle, as I call it, and when I do my workshops, around the country or outside the country, and we taught, and people ask me about the ladder, this is what I show them. There's probably about three drills that I use the ladder for, and it's for these types of things, okay? So what we want to think about is, rather than being quick all the time and staying tall, we want to get low, and we want to be slow in the box, and then quick out of the box back in, okay? So it looks like this. We go slow, slow, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, quick. So notice I am producing a lot of force at a wide angle, just like it would be if I were playing boom and I had to cut really quick. So we use the ladder to go slow, slow, quick, slow, slow, quick, slow, slow, quick, pop, pop. And then I can make it reactive by saying go. And when I say go, boom, the athlete has to take off and go. Now, the other way to do it is to stay on the outside of the ladder and simulate the same concept, okay? So I'm gonna stay on the outside, and I'm just gonna cut my feet, and then cut, 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 okay? And that means I'm cutting from a breakdown position, and then I can explode in any direction, okay? So give this one a shot, okay? This is a quick video, but give the real icky shuffle a shot. Slow, slow, quick, just like you're trying to set somebody up, boom, and then all of a sudden you go really quick. So the ladder is useful. You just got to know how to do it. If you're trying to teach 100-meter sprinters how to get faster, well, then you don't know how to use it. Hey, guys, see you tomorrow for episode number 52. Have an awesome day.